Hello everyone, hope you are doing really great. If you are an SAF user, you know options page feature is not a free feature in SAF. But in this video, I will show you how you can do that without the paid SAF plugins. To do that, we need to install the free SAF plugins from the plugins directory and this will help us to move forward. So search for advanced custom fields and install the plugins. Once the installation is done, you need to click on activate button. And this will bring a new option on our admin dashboard, which is custom fields. Here we can add new custom fields, but first of all, we will create an options page from our page section. We can simply give it a name site settings or we can give it a general name options. So our page is created. This page we will use as options page in our admin dashboard. If I click on edit page option at the top bar, you will find Gutenberg is available on our page. So I will disable it first. I am using this piece of code to disable the Gutenberg editor. You can use classic editor plugins as well if you want. Also I will add all the codes in the video description so you can use it on your project. You need to add this code on your functions.php file. If you now refresh the page you will notice Gutenberg is already disappeared from the page. Our next task is adding this page to our admin menu. So I will use this code to do this. Just copy this code and add on your functions.php file. You can modify this code if you want. You can change the dash icon or you can change the menu position and of course you need to change the uh, post link i mean page link once you refresh you will notice the options option is available here using this option anyone can edit the page this is not working because we did not add the page link yet here you need to click on edit option and copy the options page URL and replace with the old URL and then save again if you now refresh again your options page will work fine Let's go to dashboard again and click on options and it will open the options page. Just you need to ensure correct page ID you added on the option. Our next task is hiding the options page from our pages section. So I will add this code here and I will copy the page slug from uh, our page Here you have to copy the page slug and add it here. Save it. Once you refresh, you will notice this options page is disappeared from this section. If you go to pages again, you will not see the options page here. It will only appear on the options panel.
so we will now create a custom field to maintain this page options page let's give it a name site settings and this will only appear on the page options hit the publish button let's visit the site again suppose we want header phone number option here that we want to maintain from site settings so we will open the header page and find the section where we want to add the uh, phone number option so this is our header option and this div started here and find the ending as well this is ending so we want to add the phone number after <coughs> this search bar so we created another div let's give it a name with class header phone and add a normal paragraph inside this we will add the phone number it's now static data we will maintain this using the options panel if you now refresh you will notice the phone number is available here so we will add this on our options area so people can maintain easily in the SEF fields group you can disable all the screens we will only keep the permalink and the slug hit the update button now we will add a phone number field here let's give it name header phone and it will be a text field or number field you can add a default value or placeholder if you want hit the update button again if you now refresh the options page again you will notice that SEF option available here you can add your phone number here hit the update button and our next duty is displaying that uh, phone field on our front end so we need to write code here I will start a PHP block here and write the query here it's a basic query like wordpress what we use to uh, display posts in our wordpress we need to pass some parameter for the arguments variable that's important so you need to uh, understand this code properly it's an array so we will write array
inside the array we will pass some parameter first parameter is name and that is our page name you have to pass the page slug and then post type its page so we want to grab uh, data from options page we added this argument here and then we have to uh, run the loop as usual while loop we want data from this query have posts inside this we need the post and our query is done inside this we need to add our code that SF field so I ended the PHP block and started again inside this I added the HTML code if I go to SF option again here is the field header phone we want this data so here I will get the data from SEF let's give a name phone inside this variable I want that SEF data get field so we can call that variable inside this p tag let's start the php block again and echo the phone variable if you now refresh you will notice that phone number available here you can update that phone number from here and hit the update if you now refresh again you will notice header phone number is updated so we will add another field let's give email field header email it will be an email field you can give it a placeholder as well hit the update button if you now refresh the page you will notice the header email is available as well you can update the email address hit the update button so we need this key to display email on our front end let's duplicate this give it the name email and update the key also update the variable if you now refresh you will notice the email address is also appeared on the front end so following this way you can easily add options page on your free SEF plugins If you find the video helpful, please subscribe us.